And there are a lot more reasons for why it's wise to plant churches. Let me give you one that's right on the surface of my heart. It's very close to the center of the way I feel about it. I have asked myself the question, because I think it would be a natural question to ask, so really what you're saying is, um, you're so excited about uh, what God's doing at Bethlehem and what Bethlehem is and Bethlehem's distinctives that you want to see more Bethlehems out there. Is that right? And that's just not the way I feel about it. Well, that may be okay. That may be even good. It's just not the way I feel about it. <laughs> because I'm just so stinking aware of all our stinking problems. I, I'm just so aware at Bethlehem's imperfections, her flaws, her sins, her inadequacies, her cultural limitations. So the way I think about it is, no, I want to duplicate all, replicate all that problem anywhere. I, I want to see the vision, the theology, that mission statement on the wall up there. We exist to spread a passion for the supremacy of God in all things, for the joy of all peoples through Jesus Christ, the elder affirmation of faith, distinctives, biblical distinctives of churches. I want to see that core vision multiplied, re, no, that's the wrong word, I would say reincarnated, incarnated, <laughs> incarnated in lots of other churches that have lots of other weaknesses besides ours. I think if we spread around a whole variety of imperfections and a whole variety of weaknesses, then we might serve the city well instead of just duplicating our weaknesses and our imperfections. Wouldn't it be wonderful if all the churches had different weaknesses? And then obviously different strengths. That's the way I think about it. Bethlehem cannot evangelize this city. It cannot fold into itself everybody that needs to be one to Christ. But lots and lots of incarnations of this vision could. So that's what's churning around inside of me. I'm not, I'm not impressed by Bethlehem. I'm impressed by God. I'm impressed by the gospel. I'm impressed by the elder affirmation of faith as a good, solid summary of biblical truth. I'm impressed by a list of distinctives that I think are core to what a Treasure in Christ Together church should be. But as far as the way we work it out and flesh it out, we do the best we can. B minus, I don't know, C plus. There aren't many other kinds of churches.